Now if drawing hands gives you that face, then this is the tutorial for you. I'm going to start off by drawing a square that's slightly misshapen. Now I'm drawing my right hand, so the top left hand corner of that square is going to be slightly higher to make the same shape as we have on our hand here. I'm using a blue pencil just for the guide. Now it's time to start adding those fingers. Now, you're gonna come in from the side slightly just to make sure that you're doing the center of the fingers with your guidelines. Now remember that you're not drawing Wolverine, you need to include four fingers. So once we've done our fingers, we're just gonna add this one in. So we're gonna go out to the side and put a, just a double just a double joint so we're gonna put one one bend in our thumb then we're gonna go back to our fingers which has three segments so each line we're gonna split into three now whilst we are gonna do this for all of our fingers we're gonna work out the length first and that means that our middle finger is the longest so it kind of creates an art shape at the top with how long they're gonna be then we can just divide the rest up in accordance to that. Then we're going to go and flesh out the fingers, adding each finger one at a time. Remembering to leave a little gap just so that the fingers can work independently and it's kind of how our fingers actually are. Just a quick one. If you are enjoying this video, then please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it if possible. Like, I really hope you're enjoying the videos and some feedback on what was good, what needs to be improved, would be really helpful. So why not leave a comment? Now the thumb's slightly different because our thumb is turned out to the side. It's not the same as the other things. So we're still gonna flesh it out, but remembering that it's not a bird's eye view, it's kind of a side view. Now hopefully that made it easier. And so now we can change any little mistakes that we made in our guidelines just as we're outlining it. We can choose what goes where and what we like and don't like. So I found this ink pen from Waterstones actually really good. Like I like the thickness of the pen and the flow of the ink is really nice and it's actually got proper ink. Um, it's not a ballpoint, the whole tip works a bit like a paintbrush. It works really well. So now I'm just gonna go on all of the outlines and remembering that I don't have to stay true to the guidelines, I can adapt them as I please. Remembering that I can add details, everyone's hands are different because let's be real, our lives are different and things shape our body in different ways. So I've gone to, to add in the knuckles, like my fingers are quite thin. So all of the end of the bones, uh, the phalanges, they can be seen. Hence why the lines are a bit more wavy. So now to make it more realistic, we're just going to add in some more fine details. So I'm going to put some fingernails, I'm going to put in a little crease line here, just on the thumb, just to show like where the skin bends, it starts to become a crease. I didn't like that line so much, so I just made it a bit darker. I did a few details where our thumb joins our hand. Now on the first joint, your finger kind of shows more of a circular indent in the increases and on the second one they're more straight line and that's why the lines are putting on the fingers look slightly different then we just got adding some knuckles and we kind of have these lines where the bones go uh, into our actual hand like these bones are way longer than people think We've got little eight little bones that meet the bottom of the wrist, but the rest of it are just like long bones, all held together with ligaments and tendons. So the second part is coming soon. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.